I'm the hair loss dude. I've been struggling with beard growth and hair loss for over a decade now. When was it the first time you started to notice that you were thinning, that you were balding? And what was your first reaction? So first time I started to notice when I was 22, when I was working, I remember when I was just working on my laptop, I, I scratched my head and I just saw on my white keyboard, like eight or 10 hair shots. And I said, wait a minute, that's, that's not normal. I just scratched my hair. I didn't pull anything. And then I started to notice it and I just did my hand in the hair, put like this, and there was, was a lot of hair shots. And I said, okay, this is... This is not good. And then I started to notice on the shower. I started to notice on the pillow. The first reaction was, yeah, it's normal. I think I should lose hair. I mean, I, it's not going to be bold, right? It's just going to be a bit thin. It's going to stop at some point. And then it just got worse and worse and worse. I would say after I've noticed that my hair shots start to fall on the keyboard, it was like two or three months until I started to apply my Noxil over my scalp. I started to use derma rolling. I started to research on massages and other products. I've bought dozens of products over the internet because when you start to research on Google, maybe it's true for you as well. And for, for someone that's watching this, maybe uh, when you start to research something on Google, you're going to be targeted on Facebook. You're going to be targeted on ads, on display, on Google, every single website, YouTube is going to target you with hair loss products. And the downfall is that because I didn't have a great education to know which raw ingredients to look for, I've started to order all these products. And it's like reading a label on your protein powder or something, right? You need to know at least the basic things you're reading, right? The things that are harmful for you, the things that are high quality, low quality. So you need to know that. So after that, I started to learn, learn, research, learn products, ingredients. And most importantly, I learned what exactly works for me and what's the overall best treatment for me. Because if I wouldn't, my balding was quite aggressive and it's quite aggressive if I don't use any treatments in two years I'm bold like I'm pushed bold, bold so for this specific reason I had to test a lot because my androgenic alopecia and bail pattern boldness is quite aggressive and the DHT conversion from free testosterone is quite aggressive for me as genetically because my father is completely bold in regards to that so how did you first hear about minoxidil and finasteride and were you afraid of the side effects they could have i wanted to take finasteride i considered in taking it the problem i had with finasteride i read that it has all these hormonal side effects and my mother and my father all of them like just don't do anything in your life to mess up with your hormonal levels. And for this specific reason, I was always a bit skeptical because my noxidil is not going to negatively impact your hormonal. Maybe you're just going to get a bit of dandruff, irritation, maybe if you're extremely sensitive, but it's not going to reduce your sperm count or have erectile dysfunction, which finasteride can do. And then I was even luckier because I had a family doctor, which was extremely smart. And I went to him and I said, Hey, this is finasteride. This is used for hair loss. It's going to reduce my DHT. Should I take it? And because genetically from my grandfather, I have an affection, usually tall guys that if you're over 185, you're going to have that over your left testicle. You have a large vein of varies. That's, that's what it's called. And the doctor said, because I have that, I should never take finasteride or dutasteride because that's going to negatively impact and accelerate that affection. Because of that, I never took finasteride in any way. I never took dutasteride in any way. And I'm not against it. It just for me, for my affection and the problem I had, I had to find and figure out treatment methods and ways in order to be as effective and as performant as possible without taking these two medications. What were your first results with minoxidil after you started to, to use it for your scalp? I kind of had some results because my father, by age of 24, he was already bald. By age of 24, I was not already bald, so meaning uh, minoxidil was working. But the problem I had is... I always had some dandruff. And the problem with the traditional minoxidil recipes such as Kirkland, Rogaine, Head & Shoulders, Amazon Basics, Vichy, I've tried them all. The problem with them is that either they have too much alcohol and propylene glycone that's going to dry out your scalp in a way that you're going to have dandruff irritation, itchiness, redness, or they make the recipe so oily that the overall emulsification is not going to be absorbed fast by your skin and get metabolized at the scalp level. I never found a recipe that has the 
the perfect amount of alcohol and propylene glycol in order to dry the scalp, and at the same time, the perfect amount of other active ingredients and raw ingredients, like glycerin, biotin, niacinamide, which we added into ours, in order to reduce those side effects as much as possible and to keep the overall recipe performant with an amazing safety profile at the same time. And how did that lead you to start? your business and also your YouTube channel. The YouTube channel I started for the business. I was already having other businesses, other e-commerce brands at the same time. I always wanted to sell my Noxidil and sell a hair loss program, but I wanted to have a brand that's relying on well-documented raw ingredients. The problem I had is because it's an over-the-counter medication, it took a lot of time in order to get it approved on Amazon. So it's, it's it was a lengthy period of time in order to get the recipe, get it approved, get the factory to work with FDA. So the overall process was lengthy. For the YouTube channel and my Instagram, the reason why I wanted to start is because when I started selling my Noxidol, by default, I'm competing with these huge conglomerates. They have thousands of employees, then they have dozens of years of experience, they have billions of dollars to spend. I have none of that. So for this specific reason, I need to create this personal touch and this authority with the audience in order to show them that, hey, I'm the hair loss dude, I founded Follicle Booster, this is my story, this is what I've done because that's going to increase the trust in my program and products. And that's the main reason. And at the same time to help people, because a lot of people from audience, when they start to lose their hair for the first time, they don't know what to do. So I just want to create a clear path in, um, and take the overall niche, the industry, all the information. I take it and digest it and try to provide as easy to follow content as possible. Could you actually tell us a bit more about your current 12-week program on regrowing your hair with the minoxidil product line that you launched? So the program is called My Follicle Journey. It's a 12-week program for both men and women. For men, you can do beard or scalp. So in here, we have three parts, three main parts. First is the products. So you get the products. That's the only thing you have to pay for. After that is the educational material that we're going to share. We offer you educational material in order to create a basic education in the field for you, in order for you to know what works, what doesn't work, how hair loss happens, how DHT is converted. So you need to learn the basics in order just to know to answer to the vast majority of questions which you will have about hair loss or beard growth. After that, we're going to create a one-on-one -on -one WhatsApp group. And in there, we're going to ask you weekly photos with the progression that's going to help us for testimonials. But at the same time, if you have a question, I will be in that group together with a colleague of mine, and we are going to inform you and provide the most accurate reply in under 12 hours. The program overall, it has the following things to achieve. One, increase your education. So by the end of these 12 weeks, you will have a very strong knowledge about hair loss. You're not going to get scam over the internet by magical and fake products. You won't have to go to hair loss clinics and pay $200 for a consultation. And as well, the most important part when it comes to hair loss is keeping up the routine. So it's very easy to order the products, but it's more difficult to apply them every morning and every night three times a week do the derma rolling do the scalp massages do all that so that's going to take a longer period of time and if we are in the group and keep you accountable and ask you hey you do this you do this you do this you're more prone to follow that specific treatment for 12 weeks and after these 12 weeks are finished you're going to have that habit already installed after the 12 week of us keeping you accountable for those who are interested in the minoxidil that you developed yourself with your team. Could you please tell us what exactly is the innovation with this minoxidil that you brought to the market? Of course. So first on the lotion, we reduced the amount of propylene glycol to an absolute minimum. After that, we updated the percentage of the alcohol in order not to be too aggressive on the skin, but at the same time to dry fast enough over the skin in order for minoxidil to be absorbed. Minoxidil, we created a very, very, very micro particle powder in order to emulsify with the lotion and to be absorbed extremely fast to the to the hair pores. We added biotin. Biotin is very good oily base, oily substances, and is going to create a 
protective layer over the skull that is not going to create that itchiness and dandruff um, problem. Caffeine is a very good D natural DHT blocker and caffeine as well has a very short lifetime and you have to apply it twice a day over the scalp in order to reduce the, the DHT sediments. We added niacinamide, which niacinamide is very good with natural vasodilatation of the capillaries, so will empower minoxidil. And at the same time, we added glycerin, with, which glycerin is similar with biotin, but it's more like a gel. And that glycerin is creating an extra layer of protection over the scalp in order to protect it from the skin-related side effects. All right, last question for you. What's your best advice for someone who starts to lose their hair for the first time? The best advice is invest in your education before touching any medication. So try to invest and learn about it because if you have hair loss as a man, if you have my type of hair loss, the androgenic alopecia, the one that's medium to aggressive one, you will have to follow these treatments for the rest of your life. And the unfortunate truth is that even if you do a hair transplant, that's not going to be permanent. If you do, do a hair transplant, in order to keep your hair transplant, you have to do the exact same medications that if you wouldn't have to do the hair transplant. So invest in your education before touching any medication, learn what works and what doesn't work, order the right products with well-documented raw materials from companies that you can trust and companies that have a good back record, meaning if you order for two years, they will del deliver the exact same recipe, the exact same quality. And at the same time, after that, find the sweet spot for you, what works exactly for you, for your skull, and just follow that. Because for me, for example, it works to use a two millimeter derma roller with twice a day minoxidil with scalp massages. That works for me. I have friends that do 0.5 derma rolling and they do it every two days and they apply minoxidil immediately after that. I have customers that they cannot touch their modeling because they have a very sensitive skin and they will get allergic reaction. Thanks a lot. I appreciate also that answer. And thanks a lot for being here today. For those interested, I will Thank leave you. below a link to Tudor's channel and website you. where you can check out his products. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for bringing me. Thank you. Bye-bye.